<laughs> I cannot stop myself from doing this. The music is so good. Welcome back everyone to more of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening remake. Uh, let's dive into the way towards the third dungeon. So we need to continue this uh, trading sequence. Uh, give this crocodile the sale. Give him the canned food. So what will you give us? Oh, he just... <laughs> he just eats it whole. Um, he's like, with the can. Ah, he really likes it. Uh, he knows that it's not a fair trade, but he gives us banana anyway. So we'll, we'll need this banana for the next area. And also we have all these. So the statue is Chiao Chiao statue. And we also have a, a shell here, sea shell. Actually, it's a conch. Have you ever actually seen a conch be? Oh, thank God, um, a conch being played. It's uh, very common in where where in India I come from. Um, Secret seashell. In fact, um, yeah, it's almost like in in Bengal. Uh, this is where the Chiachio statue goes. Uh, in the house of the owner of Bawao and Chiachio. <laughs> um, we can also fish here. In fact, I'll quickly go through a few fishing. You get quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, most importantly, you can get a, a bottle for the fairy. You can actually capture fairies in the bottle. I haven't been able to do it yet. I keep forgetting to equip the bottle when I, I capture the fairy. But uh, here, if you fish, the first small fish, you actually get a... I think you get a heart segment. Yeah, you get a heart fragment. Um, the first big fish you capture, I think... It give you a, a, a heavier uh, lure which you can use to actually capture even deeper uh, into the pond. 23.43 inches, not bad. Yeah, he gives us a new lure, middleweight lure. I think if you, if you catch enough number of big fishes, then you get the uh, like the heavyweight layer. Another piece of art. And this is the bottle. This is tricky. Because if the... See, if this guy sees it, he actually... <laughs> he actually comes and touches it. So we'll have to fool him so that he doesn't see it. He'll just sneak it by. Yeah. There's so much to do in the game. Like, um, especially you want to be, okay, we also have a ribbon for the, for the Chia Chia. No, we actually already gave him. There is a secret seashell here. So we'll go around uh, collecting some seashells. Because this is another side quest um, that you can do, which will give you more peace of heart. And uh, also will give you uh, something which will let you detect seashells I'm just randomly visiting all the places we have been before oh I cannot hit him through this that's of no use Got both of them. This is another uh, uh, 
travel, first travel point. Oh, we have, we have opened up a new area. These are zombies. They look so cute. Um, that's uh, another. Uh, I forgot whose shack it is. Oh, it's the crazy lady Tracy. If you give her forty-two rupees, she'll actually give you a secret medicine, which basically will revive you if you die. She'll also heal you every time you buy a secret medicine. There's another first travel point that we just opened up next to Dampe's shack. Okay, so we have only two open. There will be like seven more, I think. Okay, so we are going towards the third dungeon. This is the third dungeon, the key cavern. Problem is we don't have the key for it. Uh, the slime keyhole, we don't have it. So we'll, to get it, we'll have to do something. In fact, we'll have to do quite a lot of things. So let's get on with it. First of all, we meet up with Richard. He clearly loves frogs. <laughs> Five leaves, okay. Yeah, he reminds us that we need a shovel, which we just bought in the last episode. Alright, so we need to go to the castle where Richard was in and had to flee. Before we go to the castle, I think we should visit this place, the Seashell Mansion. This is where you actually deposit the seashells and it gives you uh, rewards for that. First one, it will give us a piece of heart. The first one is like five of them. Right, let's get into the castle. Canalet Castle. Nope, the main door is closed. So we need to look for alternate uh, ways of getting in and that's where the bananas come into picture. So before we talk to the monkey, let's quickly just check. Okay, so this just goes back to that, uh, the seashell mansion. go! Kiki the monkey. He's so happy that he calls all his friends. They made a bridge for us. Monkey business done. Bye bye. Oh man, I would have loved to have a soft toy of this monkey. Um, and they also give us a stick, which will be needed to continue that trading sequence. We'll need it uh, soon enough. But for now, let's get into the castle. And before that, we ask our Ulrira. So he says, basically, go scare that crow. So if you if you don't find all the leaves, you can come back here and ask him where to find it. Gives you pointers. He doesn't give you a pointer to where to find the entrance. This is going to be a long episode. We are already 10 minutes in. This is going to be a 45 minutes episode. We have the castle to go through and then we have the dungeon to go through. There is the crow. Okay, let's scare him. Nah, we messed up the direction. Okay, here he comes. Bad crow. 
and he gives us the first leaf. Four more to go. Right, now comes a very unique enemy towards the right side of the castle. After we defeat these knights. Ah, there you go. He just picks, picks his head from the uh, holes and throws bombs at us. Yeah, we are jumping to... Oh, we killed him and fell in the hole. We are jumping to avoid the bombs. I think that's all in the... Outside of the castle. We are now getting in. Oh shit, I should have captured that fairy not uh, used it immediately yeah i need to try that out equipping the bottle you know you can use the bottle on the fairy to capture hey third leaf That opens up the main gate, so that we'll be able to just leave just like through that main gate, right? Okay. Where is that servant who went berserk? Here we go, the fourth leaf. Only one more to go. I will also burst the right side. See if there is anything in there. Nope, nothing. You can also throw the bombs. After you place it on the ground, you can pick it up and throw. Uh, we, you'll need to do that if specifically the, the area you are trying to owe. That's where the final leaf is. Um, if the place is a little higher enough, then uh, you'll have to throw in. Like there, there is a hole next to the, uh, the prairie uh, you know, first travel point. That needed a bomb you know need to be thrown in to get the seashell i just broke all the vas vases before i opened the door now let's go in and have a boss fight a mini boss fight so if this is probably the boxer uh servant He hit me every time. Right. We got all the golden leaf. Let's... Uh... Hey, we, we have the full uh, castle. So, uh, before we go back to Richard, should we also collect some more... Uh, some more seashells and see if we have enough. I'm just avoiding these uh... ah. You can actually pick them up and throw That will destroy them At least that will destroy the cover and then you can kill them normally Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I didn't need to move the bottom one. That's just there to go back uh, with the shortcut, basically. Hey, we are up here for another seashell. Oh, these guys are difficult to hit because they are flying. Here we go. Okay, so another thing, another first travel point. That's in Martha's Bay. Okay, continuing the other the trading sequence. You can talk to Mario here. No, that is Tarin, and he will do this when you give him the the stick. Never poke uh, a honeybee's nest. They don't like it. We got a honeycomb. That will be useful not now, but in the next dungeon, before the next dungeon. Oh, so we can come here for a sea fairy. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Come on dude, come out again. I want to place the bomb in peace. We're just going around collecting uh, Secret seashells. done so well in this game. We, in Tal Tal Heights there is another, uh, um, ooh. Did we go somewhere wrong? Or oh, this is the final place where we'll have to go in the game. Okay, we won't go further. I think in Taltal Heights we did not open up that first travel location. Let's do that. Piggy! You will, you will get it, what's coming to you. The dungeon behind the waterfall. We'll have to come back here later. I think that's the fourth or fifth dungeon, maybe fourth dungeon.
Here we go, this is the first travel point. No. Ah, yeah. As I mentioned, you can throw in, especially if it's a higher place. You'll have to do that. Let's see how many we have. I don't think we have enough for the second uh, reward. Do we have enough? We do. There you go. We got a seashell sensor. Right, we got it. Hey, we are finally back to Richard to give him all the leaves. Oh, bien. And where do we come out? You won't believe it. We have not come out yet. We are in the dungeon. Okay, another seashell. I knew it that there will be another uh, another of those uh, creepy bugs. Yep, we come out in a field full of holes. You basically cut your way through and find your way to that owl on the top. like pothole field. Oh! We went too close to one. are getting that heart. First we'll talk to the owl. He'll give us another very cryptic message which means the key is beneath our shoes means we'll have to dig. So let's dig. There you go. We got the slime key and now for the heart. <laughs> so you'll have to jump from in the middle of two holes and hopefully make it. Yeah, this time we did. Hey, okay, we got another full heart. So now back to the dungeon. Time to get into the dungeon. But not from this side. That's another... So we'll have to go all the way around. Around Richard's house. Around the 
field full of holes and come from the other side across the water. See? That's why we are. So we'll directly get into the the dungeon. We have spent like 25 minutes preparing for it. But before we do, there is another uh, seashell here. Right. Level 3 Key Cavern. I will need quite a lot of bombs. And now that we cannot do anything about right now. Let's collect all the bombs actually. I think right now we can carry up to 40 bombs. These guys are dangerous. That we cannot do anything about. We cannot reach the central area. Okay, so we'll have to come back. These are called Stalfos. Some weird naming. Okay, down is the only way, I think. We don't have any keys. So we cannot go anyway. Uh, maybe in the first room, we needed to... Uh, no, no, I didn't want to come down. Um, yeah, we need keys for all four directions. Probably in the first room, we need to kill all of these guys to get a key. Yeah, there is a podium for the key. We need to kill these two guys also. And there we go. Small key. We we'll go right first. Okay, so this leads to a different level. The dungeons are getting a little uh, more complicated with time. This room also has a key. like a massive junction. More bombs? Yeah. Oh, five of these guys. Okay, that upper room, that's a mini boss. We will come back to that. After we take care of these guys. These guys are a pain, these parrots. You have to place a bomb, bomb and then rush them. And also avoid their stars. Okay, let's place a bomb here. Then rush both of them. At least we got one of them. Okay, we got both of them and we get another key. That 
chest comes there. That worked out perfectly. That did did some awesome work. Still don't have the beak, so we we cannot talk to. Quite a lot of rooms. We need four keys to get into that central area. Right, so these are the rooms we'll have to come back later. One thing to notice is that marking on the right wall because correspondingly we'll have to place a bomb on the other side. Get back to our major junction and go fight the mini boss. These two guys can be real pain. Only way of defeating them is feeding them bombs. And you'll have to feed, I think, four bombs each. So you'll need a hell lot of bombs. Like, I make quite a lot of mistakes. Um, I have like close to 30 bombs, so. So if they're not opening their mouth, they won't take the bombs in. No, they will say no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Check. He changed direction. One gone. And I have wasted all these fairies. I'll have to wait for him to turn. I really thought he will turn this way. Not only that, that bomb hurt me. No, nope. bad timing. Oh shit. Oh, finally he ate that. Ah. Right, so that's the midway point. We can now go back to the entrance from here. We'll do that after we pick up our next power that is in this chest. Um, what will it be? Pegasus boot. This actually lets us rush. Like this. We'll need two more keys. But why will the rush be uh, useful? Because that will let us cross um, three tile gaps. Now with the jump we can only cross Max up to two tiles. Now we'll be able to jump uh, three tiles. And it will also let us do this. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Okay, let's do it. Ah, oh, shit. We failed from the very beginning. You'll have to get the direction correct. Here we go. So we can, essentially we can charge enemies like this and also break through these uh, weird structures. Uh, we need to find the place where we can bring those down. But with this uh, small uh, blob monster gone, that it didn't work on that guy. We'll have to kill the, the star forces again. 
to get another key or maybe get something. So there's definitely something here and there is a space for it. We don't know what will be inside. rupees ah that's where the switch is okay the third key so we used one key we got one more I think the later dungeons will have quite a lot of backtracking because now we'll have to backtrack to those two places where, yeah, one of these is here. We can now get to this chest. That gives us the beak. And we can go to this room. Now we'll be able to reach that central location. map from here okay so we have two more direction to go we'll go south first okay piece of power is good not very useful now okay this key cannot fall down as far as I understand or maybe can but after you know taking a full round oh, please don't fall down hey two bombs is good so we still need one more key and we still need the nightmare key Nah. This room is tough. Oh! I hurried too much. Hey, okay, did not destroy him. Oh no, that didn't work out. Okay, that got him. Now, again. We'll need to do it once more. Oh shit, it'll fall down. Are you kidding me? No, it didn't. Oh, thank God. Let's get this heart and then we have three keys again. Used one, we got one. So if you use one, you'll have to get one. Otherwise, you will be short of keys. Okay. Let's see. Suspicious part of the wall with your sword to listen to the sound. Nah, nah, I know what this arrow does. So, Okay, so this is these are the rooms that we saw before. Did it give us another key? Now the, the compass. Useless now. And we'll put a bomb there. Opposite to the marking on the other side.
That didn't work out. I thought we'll get all three of them together. That worked out. And there is the fourth key. Still don't have the nightmare key though. That is what we'll get here. I think we can see the chest up there. This is how you reach it. Obviously after defeating these guys. Now obviously to cross this gap, which is three tile long, you'll have to need the Pegasus boot. Oh, this is just a... Just a shortcut back to give you some runaway. Yeah. Ooh, we almost didn't make it. There we go. Alright, let's make a... Ah, I don't care about you guys. Give me a heart. They didn't. Ah. Let's make it to the nightmare. Give me a, give me a heart. Don't take one from me. Ah oh shit, he took half from me. Can I get my, get a heart please? Okay, we got one. At least we are close to being full. We could use some more bombs. We didn't get any. Yeah, I'm not fighting you guys. Okay, I'm out of here. So we need four keys to get into this central area. Um, yeah, you have four locks. Without that, there is no point coming here. This guy won't budge until you rush him. After that, you should hurry to get to the other side. I don't know how to cross this. Every time I tried, I always fell down. I probably need to press up or something when we reach the right side. Okay, here you can rush these guys. Just line yourself up and rush. Because they cannot see you, uh, it works out. Yo, suckers. So, here we get the three hearts, so we will be fine. Okay, one more room to go before the nightmare. Oh, this is uh, another room where they give you a key which is useless. Because without the four keys you won't reach here. And... Uh, the maximum keys you can have is four before you reach here. So there is no use of this key. There is no more doors left unopened. And the villain is... Oh, he's, he's hiding... He's hiding on the ceiling. So you'll have to actually knock him off. Slime eye. He's easy enough. So you'll have to hit the main eye. It will break in two. You'll have to keep on hitting one of the broken eyes to make him this and then use the boots to break him in two halves. But now it becomes a little crazy. These two... Ah, shit. They will keep on jumping and they will hurt you if you don't hit the eyes. Okay, we got him. So just at the moment it hits, we'll jump. Almost got him. Once more. He is done for. Alright, with that key cavern is done. We'll just collect the instrument and we'll be out of here. And that'll be the end of this episode. The sea lily's bell. Let's hear it.
not that beautiful. Next destination, please. Yarna Desert. Game changer, it's out. 